Okay, do we have the slides and let's get started. Let's get the freak on. Physical. Oh, let's get physical. Yeah, that's the sticky man talking. Who wants to get physical? Huh? Yes. Very, very important note, if, note for you all guys. Please shut your Wi-Fi down. <laughs> this, is, this is not to spare. But please, for the demos to be uh, successful for the teams, please shut down all your devices. Don't use Wi-Fi at the moment. This is, uh, this is precious in this house, internet. So please, please, turn it off so we can have successful demos. OK, do we have this and do I have the clicker and then we can Start. Where's the clicker? You are clicking for me. Oh, that's nice. OK, well, so let's start. You're here, I'm here, they're clicking, so we're all good. Right, I wanted to say that I asked you on Friday, who knows what garage is? A few hands up. Who knows what garage is now? More hands. So what is it? What did you experience this weekend? What, what, what is it like? What is Garage 48? Tiring? Sleepy? Sorry? No sleep. OK. What else is Garage? Fun. That's the right answer we're looking for. What else? Hmm? Communication. Very formal. Communication. Yes. <laughs> Cool projects, building cool stuff, that's it. What else is Garage 48? Experience, fun, cool shit, stuff. Anyway, so I'm happy that you're now here uh, with us, with this cool Garage 48 family. Um, and I hope to see your faces more and more. We're going to come back already in February to Minsk. So, uh, so definitely, definitely join us there. And I'm really happy that, uh, that you're all here. So first of all, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. You have all been here. Some slept eight hours, maybe some slept two to three hours. Uh, you've done a really great job. So already before the pitches, I think you're all winners. So give yourself a big applause. <laughs> but. Also, we have a few more people or organizations to thank for. So if you click, you, yeah, we started on Friday. Let's click again. And we see them here. So we really want to thank Estonian Development Corporation. So this is the reason or the, the opportunity that we get from the Estonian government to, uh, to come here and to bring the mentors here, uh, to get you here, to feed you, uh, to give you as less sleep as possible, but give you a little bit of coffee to live. So Estonian Development Corporation, we've been working with them for a few years already and hopefully in the future as well. So give them a very, very big applause for helping us. <laughs> also, our organ organizing partners, so we have uh, Space, uh, who is helping with the everything local here, organizing. We have the Grodno State University with this house welcoming us. So give them a big applause. And we have the Masquerade team. They are actually going to be on the jury. Uh, so wear your Facebook t-shirts to get the extra points. Um, and they're helping us out with uh, just actually the idea was theirs to, to bring this event here to Grodno. So big applause to Masquerade as well. And they're watching on the live stream right now. So, <laughs> And you can see all our other partners. Let's give them a big applause for helping us out with from live stream to photography to prizes to mentors. Uh, so a big applause for them and our info partners for sharing the world and getting you all here. So a big thank you to all of them as well. Oh, that was a lot of thanking. But, uh, but we have to do this and we're very grateful because without them, we actually wouldn't be here. But a special thank you goes to um, Click, to uh, this house as well. Uh, State Grodno State University is, um, is helping us out and they're welcoming us in this beautiful house. And uh, Elena, where are you? Please come to the stage and, and we would just like to hear a few words from you. Thank you. I'm going to speak Russian. 
потому что больше русскоязычных. Я рада вас приветствовать, так сказать, вот в течение этих дней, большого с моей точки зрения количества дней, хоть вам, наверное, показалось это очень мало, а нам, организаторам, показалось, что вот с одной стороны это вот длилось. Я рада вас приветствовать, хочу сказать спасибо всем, кто к нам приехал. Приветствую всех наших выпускников, ну и пару слов хочу ответить во всеуслышание на, те, на то большое количество вопросов, которые я получила от наших выпускников и наших гостей. В основном все спрашивали, Елена Николаевна, а почему в Гродно, почему у нас, и почему гараж 48? Ребята, ответ ужасно простой. Все знают создателей маскарада Евгений Невгин, и он закончил наш университет, закончил наш факультет. Мы с ним очень хорошо дружили, мы ему помогали. Я, кстати, даже его научным руководителем была. Мы очень им гордимся. И вот после того, как он первый раз участвовал в «Гараж-48», вы знаете, что, в общем-то, считается, что толчок его многим идеям дала, дали именно эти хакатоны. И он все натурально, ребята, я скажу просто, он все приставал и приставал ко мне, Елена Николаевна, но ведь у нас столько замечательных ребят, у нас столько замечательных идей, у нас столько замечательных выпускников, но ведь мы должны «Гараж-48» провести в Гродно. Скажу честно, было несколько попыток, мы иногда отказывались, иногда соглашались, у нас что-то не получалось в конечном итоге. Вот именно в этом году, я скажу так, что Женя был особенно настойчив, познакомил заочно, конечно, нас с Кай, и вот тогда в конечном итоге и все пошло. И «Гараж-48» состоялся здесь, благодаря Евгению Невгению, говорю честно, это его идея была. Ну и, кстати, для тех, кто не знает, Сережа Гончар, второй из трех создателей маскарада, кстати, тоже учился на нашем факультете, правда, два года учился, после двух лет он, ну, назовем это так, эмигрировал. Мы до сих пор с ними дружим, и, в общем, это здорово. Я рада, что многие из вас разделяют эти идеи, и я думаю, что вот тот толчок, который получили теперь знаменитые всему миру ребята, у вас тоже получится. Я с нетерпением жду послушать ваши идеи, послушать ваши результаты. Всем удачи, всем успехов. И спасибо Кае особенно, спасибо устроителям, спасибо нашим менторам, потому что это просто вот мне сегодня уже наши ребята рассказывали, какие замечательные, грамотные, квалифицированные, как вообще здорово все к нам приехали. Всем низкий поклон. Thank you. I understood a little bit of it, so thanks. Uh, and as, as Elena mentioned, uh, um, Eugene and the Masquerade team are from Grodno and they went to this university, so it's, it's kind of their idea, they initiated it. And they will be, they're watching on the live stream, wave to them, they're going to be in the jury judging you, and also they have sent a little greeting for us, so uh, we can see that on the screen. Мы сооснователи компании и приложения Маскарад. И мы сделали первую версию нашего приложения именно на Хакатоне Гараж 48. И причем это было ровно год назад. Завтра будет ровно год. Поэтому мы очень хотели, чтобы Гараж 48 проходил в Гродно, в нашем родном городе. Мы давно просили организаторов Гараж 48 провести его именно в этом городе. И слава богу, это наконец случилось. Всем спасибо, что пришли. Да, спасибо огромное организаторам, спасибо огромное компаниям, которые также поддержали. Я знаю, что собралось огромное количество команд. Я, честно говоря, не ожидал, что их будет так много. Это очень здорово. Вот, и клево, <смех> клево, что какие-то команды дошли до финала. Я, я пока не знаю, какое количество команд дошло, но всех уже поздравляю. Мы будем принимать активное участие в жюри, будем смотреть все демо и будем участвовать в голосовании. Да, мы с Сергеем также предоставляем призы. Это два приза для первых двух мест. Для первого, это денежные призы. Для первого места это 1000 долларов, 
а для второго места это 500 долларов. Это деньги, которые мы рассчитываем, что команды потратят на, а, на, на развитие проекта, на самые первые шаги, на оплату самых первых а, каких-то нужд а, проекта, хостинг, а, релиз в App Store, Google Play, на перевод локализации проекта и так далее. I will remind you, if you don't have your demo team up there, send them up there already. They have to be there. Then we will have a little break for you guys, and the jury will go and decide, and then we will announce, finally, 48 hours has gone past, we will finally award you and announce the winners. So, click. <laughs> Just a few more things before I let you take over the stage. So please, share that you're here, as uh, Eugene said as well, we really wanted to bring this here to Grodno, so share that this event is happening here. Use the hashtag Garage48, and we also have the live stream, so share it for your friends and family. It's up on the garage48.org website. No Wi-Fi. No wi <laughs> well, you have to have one person who can connect, and then through him. Uh, the jury. Let's uh, meet who is going to judge you today. So we have Sergei Gumenyuk from Exposit DS. We have Cesar Zepini from the design side. We have Martin Gruner, the tech guru. And on the live stream, we have Sergei and Eugene watching and judging you from Masquerade. Cool, but also you can be the jury. You're right, you don't have the Wi-Fi, but again, let's have one dedicated person for the favorite of the audience. So, as you already know, there's an album on Facebook. Go there and like the team that you love, love, love the most and get your friends and family to do the same. So your chance to be the jury as well. I'm just going to remind you what are the prizes. So obviously you're here to win as well because I can see the enthusiasm in your, in your eyes and faces. Everybody's just like this. So if you want to win this thing, your three minutes are going to come. You're going to have this to shine. And the prizes to win are from Masquerade, development money for $1,500. You can get a trip to Estonia. You can come visit me. So two people can go from Exposit DS and Latitude 59 to visit us and uh, go to a conference. From Business School, IPM, you can uh, choose a course for your liking. And also Index Tools and us, we're giving away some special stuff for you. So time for the show. That's it. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Now it's your turn. We're going to have the same order as when you were pitching beforehand. So I can already tell you who's the first one, because he already knows as well. It's going to be Metallica. And that you know, GoPose is going to be preparing. So let's get this party started. <laughs> Woo! The time is going to be there. Your three minutes. Your team is getting ready. How are you feeling? So much light, so much light here. And is it working? Is it working? Yeah. Working, working, working. Cool, thank you very much. So, how do you feel? <laughs> are we ready to, to, are we ready? No, not yet? All right. Well, no, we don't ready on the, uh, on upstairs, unfortunately. But then, how many of you actually, I was curious, how many of you play some instruments? So we have like 20 people more or less. Cool. Nice to see you, everyone here. Do you play as well? Seems like you have. <laughs> yeah, I play drums and I play this piano uh, in the corner. It's ah. quite cool. And uh, a little bit guitar. How Just much sleep did you get? Uh, five hours, I think. All together? Yeah. See? You're the winner. Let's see. <laughs> Who can beat that? Who can beat five hours? Oh, you said two to three or something. <laughs> Ready? Ready. I can do this. What the, the bands do, yeah? One, two, one, two, three, go! <laughs> no. All right. So let's <laughs> <didn't work>. go. <laughs> Hello, I'm Alex, and I'm a drummer, as you see. So I really like it, and I play for many years. 
I also discovered that in the world there are a lot of people who like to listen rock music and also like to play it. But the major problem is that it is not that easy. For amateur, amateur musicians like me, it is very hard to find people with a similar music taste or skills and play together. Even professional musicians still use word of mouth and poor resources of Facebook groups uh, to find people for their bands. When I moved to Tallinn a year ago, it took me two months to find the rehearsal studio to play drums and a year to meet with people to play together. So music, musicians, amateur musicians all around the world suffer and this is a big opportunity. So I want to change the world of amateur rock music. Our project is called Metallica and we basically connect amateur musicians helping them finding band members with a similar music, ta music taste and skills and go play together, book rehearsal locations for meetings and meet rock music teachers to enhance their playing skills. During the last 48 hours, we have developed the Rockstar web application that has all the necessary functions for amateur musicians. So it has the extended user profiles to, with details about user music pre preferences and experiences. It also has the private message functions to help them meet each other and book the rehearsal. And it has also, of course, nice design that works both on desktops and mobile. During the development stage, we also uh, uh, validated the idea with first paying customers. So we make money on commission from the rehearsal studios and rock uh, music teachers. Uh, and we alre al already get uh, profit per user three times higher than the customer acquisition cost. So we have a rock star team of developers, designers, and, uh, and marketeers, and we want to grow. The best thing about Metallica that it, uh, is about the possibility of growth. And the major thing that I want from you now is your support. Thank you. No, no, keep it. Do we have a question for Metallica? From the jury? Everything is clear. Yes, please. Uh, that was quite the preparation homework. So the idea was to get 10 people that not connected to me anyhow. So I posted the ad on Facebook and we get 10 drummers already. So they already paying for the locations and for the uh, rock music teachers. And on my side, on Metallica side, we are trying to make the algorithm on their experience, trying to find the best features to serve them. So when people say that they have a rock star team, usually they just want to sound cool. But in your case, you actually have a rock star team. Yes. So thanks very much for coming. Thank you. And there is your little diploma as well. And the next one is Go Pose. Woo! And 131 is preparing. There is your microphone. There is your timer. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thanks. Woo! So, my name is Alexanders, and I represent the Go Pose team. Uh, as my previous experience as a fashion brand launching and as our idea author's experience as a model, we faced uh, this uh, uh, problem in the fashion industry. When a model just uh, can't find uh, the brand and employer to connect with and the employer just can't find uh, a model. So even if they know that uh, the models are there, and they, there's just uh, no a special uh, space for that. And uh, we assume that there are uh, 50,000 uh, people 
like us in the United States alone, a monthly amount. And this amount is even tripling uh, worldwide. So uh, we see that uh, the connection is not there. Uh, the models can't, uh, young and aspiring models who are just starting can't find this uh, uh, employer. And the same with employers, they can't connect with models. And uh, we are going to change that. And uh, our app, GoPose, will connect uh, models with uh, young brands. Uh, we have built an app which allows the model to register, uh, to post her profile up in uh, minutes and have this uh, opportunity to view offers right away. So she will see the uh, employers and jobs and could contact them. And the same with employers, they would see the uh, models, a uh, list of models uh, and would be able to contact them and apply and let them apply and uh, make this transaction. So this, the fee we will take from this transaction is our business model. This is what we use for uh, our uh, approach uh, moving forward. And on the uh, market uh, audience, uh, uh, the target audience, we see that the, these are young, just recent graduates or some uh, young and aspiring uh, uh, people and brands and models. Uh, they are uh, primarily uh, in English speaking for now, so we are planning to uh, start this uh, uh, work on social media a lot because they're trendy and young, so uh, Facebook ads and Instagram ads, and then like organic uh, sharing after that. And uh, during the garage, we were uh, 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 10 people who are from strategic uh, fields and uh, marketers and of course developers where our core team really uh, passionate about this uh, industry and we plan to move forward after the garage of course and develop it so thank you for the attention thank you so that means you're a model yourself no i my previous experience in fashion industry is launching a brand uh, a fashion brand but our idea author, Alina, she is a model, yes, so we have so a team. So you, you know the, the real pains and pain points of, uh, of models. Yes, yes, you have definitely. This, you yes. have this know-how. Very good. Yes. Do we have any questions from the jury? Okay. Yes, Why so did you, what did you choose the chat robot? I'm just uh, um, repeating because okay. uh, then the live stream will hear as well. Of course. Uh, the chat about technology which we use to register is really easy for uh, people to understand and it is uh, becoming a trendy and what we see in this uh, industry is that uh, the model who would uh, register by uh, means of uh, chatbot is uh, trendy, so she would like uh, lay on the couch and uh, scroll and uh, speak with this chatbot. It's the first for easier registration. And the second is for onboarding. Uh, we will use uh, chatbot technology to uh, notify a model about some changes, some recent updates from uh, 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 employers, or if she doesn't say anything or visit the app, the chatbot would uh, say to her something nice like, how are you? And, uh, like onboard her and notify her. Okay, thank you very much. So you know thank that you. your your team was the one that uh, was putting an effort into having fun as well, making some cool videos. Yes, so yes, masquerade challenge. Yeah, you can check it out on Facebook. Check out the challenge. It was really cool. So thank you for your whole team. This is your diploma here. Thanks. <laughs> Next up, we have one three one application, and getting ready is Scott. Your demo team is ready. Do you have your time there? Okay. Your three minutes. Hello, there, my name is Dennis and I hate wasting my time. So hands up who hate wasting their time too. So it's cool and I've got some statistics. The average waiting time for getting an appointment with a doctor in Belarus takes 83 minutes. 
Yeah, and it is a um, uh, service in Belarus called 131, which solves this problem. And uh, it is an um, informational medical telecommunications. Uh, and... Um, uh, oh, God bless you. So, if you would like to be okay, please uh, make an appointment to doctor to um, uh, think that you're okay and uh, make an appointment in the app. This app. <laughs> so, this app, from the main screen, you see the orders that you ever have. And um, you would if you would like to order some new appointment, you will click. And uh, then on the other screen, you'll see that um, you could choose you or, you or some new friend or create an account, for example, for a friend or for your granny. And uh, then... Uh, you will uh, choose uh, uh, some service, medical service you would like to get. And uh, after choosing this service, uh, you've got some uh, filters, uh, for example, data, price, location, and time. And after this, uh, you will get uh, several uh, services. You choose the most, um, uh, uh, the most uh, the most suitable for you, and then you ordered uh, an appointment with the doctor. Uh, so, after this, you are going to the main screen. Uh, and uh, we've got some extra features. For example, uh, we've got a, a feature called um, uh, What Hurts. And uh, we've got a medical taxi service. Uh, and uh, we've got an online chat with high qualified doctors. Uh, so, uh, one, uh, 18. Uh, Thousand people are using this 131 service now, and um, uh, we polled them and um, uh, have a result that 32% uh, of these people, near 32%, uh, will uh, use this mobile app, uh, not their call center. And uh, we polled 200 people, near 200 people, and 72% of them told that uh, they will use um, this service. Uh, so, uh, we've, got, we, we've calculated uh, average uh, income, and um, uh, so speaking about uh, my team, uh, in our team we have uh, uh, designers, we've got um, front-end, and we've got uh, such a really cool team, and thanks my team for creating this project, and make some noise. Woo! Thank, Thank you! you. When I said get this party started, Denise actually knew what I was talking about. So, very good energy for your pitch. Do we have any questions from the jury? So, you have 80,000 users already, and now you're putting the so app on top of So, this service is working in the demo version maybe for three years, and every month we've got uh, uh, 18,000 people uh, of uh, users which uh, call to the service. And our main idea is to create the app and to add some features which couldn't be included by their telephone call. So you're definitely going to carry on after the event, yeah? Yeah. That's and uh, we'll work on this project, we'll add some new features after this garage, and we'll do our best, we promise. That's the promise. Thanks very much. So, and thank you. This is your diploma here. Thank you for the whole team. Yes, sir. Awesome. Scop is next. And preparing as SMB tools. Scop is coming. Your demo team ready? Are you ready? There you go. Let's wait. Whoa, last one. It's working. Up, 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 up. So I welcome all of you guys. Uh, my name is Eugene, and I have to admit I'm lazy. I, uh, the more older I am, the lazier I become. I don't want to type to send messages, neither I don't want to listen to them. So we invented a new way, a new communication way, uh, where you don't have to touch your screen at all. Once again, you don't have to touch your screen at all to send messages. Let's try it. Hey. I'm at garage 48.
Saints, see you soon. So, so as you can see, uh, no typing needed. Now, you may ask, what about emojis? Yep, you, everyone likes it. So why don't you just use your face like this? Let's say I'm happy. Uh, I'm sad. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad. Then I'm winging. Winging. Yep. And of course, kisses. So, no typing needed at all. Uh, we are a team of five uh, two engineers. Marketing, uh, business person, and designer. And uh, if you'd like to join our team, you can uh, talk to me later. Come and talk, please. And enjoy new communication experience. Thanks. Woo! Thank you. See if there's any questions. The kissing yeah. part was very cute. Do we have any questions from the jury? How do you plan to monetize uh, this? Actually, I, let me be honest, I don't know. So first, we need to, it's a messenger, so you need to grow your, uh, your user base, and then you somehow will understand how to monetize it. It's ju just, at the moment, it's just be, uh, about uh, making and uh, bringing new and uh, good experience to people like so the way th yeah, yeah and then you will monetize it so somehow. the way we thought mobile phones at once were a little bit weird to talk to then in some some time it's not weird to do faces at your phone yeah no oh, it's really it's really cool <laughs> and addicting actually cool thank you so much for your team this is your diploma thank you thanks for scop <laughs> next up we have smb tools and preparing Steamstagram. SMB tools, you ready? A little bit nervous? There you go, <laughs> you'll be fine. Press the button there. Yes. Is it? <laughs> I think it's empty. Do we have another one? Oh, there we go. There we go. Working? Yes. Hello. Um, my name is Emric, and I want to start by telling you a story. Recently, I moved to Moscow to open a restaurant. And I was fast with two big problems. The first one is that I didn't have time, and the second one is that I didn't know Moscow. So uh, everything was ready, but uh, I have no idea about how to tell that it was ready, people can come. So we created uh, SMB, SMB tools. Uh, SMB tool uh, allow you to put your contact information and uh, it put this information on the most famous internet sites. Um, you know that uh, you have your information on this internet site and that customer come, uh, well, you want to open, why not, one, two more restaurants and you are faced with another problem. Um, you, you don't know if uh, your information are on every site and you don't know if they are right. So you can use SMB tools we will check uh, if your information are on this site and if they are right. Our business target is a digital company and small, small business owner. And uh, we are a team of um, one front-end developer, one full-stack developer, two marketers, and one project manager. Thank you. Thanks very much. Have any questions from the jury or from the audience? Everything is clear? So 
opening up a new business will be way, way easier with SMB tools. I hope. <laughs> yes. Questions? Everything seems to be clear, so thank you very much. I have thank a diploma you. for your whole team. Thanks for, for the effort and give a big applause to SMB Tools. <laughs> Steamstagram on the stage. And preparing is Avo Bai. Look at the demo teams getting ready in a second. There you go. Hello everyone, my name is Pavel and uh, I'm a Steamstagram user and I'd like to ask you one question. How many Instagram users are out there? Please raise your hand if you have an Instagram account. Well, a lot of people. So, uh, did you know that altogether we spend around 150 million hours per day sending pictures to our friends? Uh, actually, we spend a lot of time on social media platforms. We put our effort we put our energy there, but who benefits from all that stuff? The only people that benefit from that are the shareholders of big corporations. We want to change that. So we've built an application that is called Steamstagram. This application is based on uh, Steam blockchain, and uh, it allows you to get rewarded for the content that you generate. Basically, what you're doing is making a photo and uh, uploading it uh, to using Steamstagram. And uh, for that, you get rewarded uh, with a built-in currency, digital currency, that is called Steam. Basically, you can exchange Steam later on uh, any uh, platform that allows you to exchange that for dollars, for euros, for uh, bitcoins, and, uh, or other currencies. Uh, and. Uh, for, for that application, I want to show you uh, basically how that works. So, uh, my friend is sitting there and is going to take a picture of the audience. And uh, uh, when, he, when he does that, I'm going to, and he will post that, I'm going to like that picture. And uh, by putting a like, uh, I'm going to say that, well, I like the picture of my friend. and. Uh, this friend is going to be rewarded. So let me check if the picture is out there. It seems like my friend uh, made a picture. Yes, I can see the picture and I'm going to like it. Uh, so I put a like and uh, uh, we can actually see some, it's not, very, it's not very much good to see that, but here is the amount of uh, uh, dollars uh, actually, Steam currency can be converted to dollars. Uh, it has a rate, uh, a conversion rate, which is uh, flexible. So uh, we can see that uh, by uh, making photos, you are able to earn uh, not only uh, some small amount, but if you have really good photos, really good short videos that your friends like, you can earn a lot more. So uh, we've built that within 48 hours, and uh, our team consists of seven people. It's two backend engineers, two uh, mobile developers, one marketer, one business analyst, and me as a project manager. So thank you very much. It's three minutes. Thank you. Very precise timing. Woo! So that's not the problem that we spend too much time on social media. It's just the problem that we don't get paid for it. Exactly. Well, and actually, th there are ways to monetize your activity on platforms like uh, Instagram, but it's only for those people that have like more than 100,000 uh, followers that can show advertisements and they have to prepare a lot to uh, you know, connect them. And, but this platform pays you, even if you have like 10 or 20 friends, you will still earn something. I was going to ask if I can monetize my activity on Tinder, but I'm going to scratch that question <laughs> just in case. Any questions from the jury? Yes. Well, uh, if we can show that, maybe. Well, I've made a post on the similar blogging platform. It's called Steemit. Um, I made a blog post about myself. It was like a couple of paragraphs, a couple of photos of me, and uh, it got like 150 likes. And uh, uh, according to that, the rate at that time, it was about uh, almost $500 that I've earned out of that post. 
Wow, $500. So if anyone wants to join the team, then uh, here they are, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much for the whole team for uh, participating. This is your diploma. <laughs> Woo! I'll take this from you. And the next up is Steamstagram. No, that's you. I'm giving you a wrong diploma. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do a photo again. But Ava Bai is already there. Can I get paid for this if, you, if I like it? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. And we have Ava Bai coming up now. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. It's yours. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sergey. Uh, uh, my team names Evo. Evo is the teams uh, who are working, uh, doing application, but something's wrong. Application uh, not presented uh, that yet. Uh, we we uh, present online service, online service for tourists. Tourists and visitors uh, for Grodno, for local service. Grodno uh, is a good town uh, uh, who uh, stay in transborder uh, place, area. E we uh, help for visitors, for tourists, uh, search information, show short uh, search places uh, who want visit it, who want uh, activity for sports, uh, hunting, uh, and, and other meetings. Uh, I have, for example, uh, one. Uh, one man who can uh, buy uh, a gift for your family, uh, not found, not found, Sailor. Exactly, Ivo? Yes. And uh, another situation. Uh, many people who come to Grodno uh, don't know uh, emergency calls. Emergency calls uh, we presentation in category SOS. Imagine, may, uh, many people think uh, that's number 199. Uh, but this number uh, uh, is police department 102. Uh, we, we have idea, uh, big idea uh, what friendship uh, and uh, searching people who visitors uh, maybe find uh, places, maybe find, uh, resolve your problem uh, in this application. And this. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So, as I understand, the people that came on the bus, the 30 people from Estonia and Latvia, they are your customer, yeah? So they come to Grodno yeah. and they don't know what to do and they take your application and here it all is, yeah? We find what you want. Okay, but what's the special sauce? Why, why should I use your app instead of any other, like, like TripAdvisor or anything else? Why should I use, use Avobuy? Uh, it's application uh, working offline. is uh, most popular places, most popular services, uh, include this application. It is great. Okay. Do we have any other questions from the jury? <laughs> uh, we uh, we create QR code and uh, short um, short message for people uh, who can find a stay, uh, who can download application, maybe scan QR code, e, uh, download application, e, try it, e, try it simple, try it uh, available, it's secure. It's airport, taxi, 
uh, it's uh, buildings, maybe and uh, another places. Great. So first Belarus and then the whole world. Yeah. Hey, bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Good luck with that. So thank you for your whole team. Thanks very much. And the next one up is Singapik. Sticky man. <laughs> and preparing is contact us. Singapik. 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 Does whatever a Singapik does. Exactly. You ready? Hello. Few days ago, I had no clue how do I sound. And I can assure you, there are at least 100 other people in this room who also don't know how do they sound. And if you think even further, there are millions outside of this building. And guess what? They also don't know how do they sound. So we have a solution, a magical solution. So let us present Singapik. So this is an application for all those lonesome warriors out there who don't know how to desound. So the application itself is pretty simple. You can choose a picture from gallery or make an instant one with your camera. And then you send it to our cloud servers and you will receive something special in return. So we took a picture beforehand and here goes the presentation. You reason the good. For me, you try to. Little thinking. You reason the good. For but harder even. All goes I'm a king. A choking. He's nigga. Dumb. Da root to with omnipotime. Fat nigga shady. Slim once arm. This. Oh, blows. He ball and need I like grab. It's the normal <laughs> like. So following from here. We take a picture. We analyze it then with just few keywords. Using hidden Marklow technique, we generate you a song. So, little help. This is an application. And I emphasize, this is an application that will change the way you look at pictures. This is an application that will change and, and excuse me, this is an application that will change how blind people look at pictures. Well, pun intended. So, I'm sorry again. So this application, this is something that when you're feeling bored, you take out Singapik, do a picture of yourself, your cat, your mom, and you will listen a song about them. So our business model is very simple. It's a one-time payment in Google Play Store. So for 99 cents, you will send us all your bad emotions and you will get something fun in return. Thank you for your attention. Woo! So I think uh, if uh, Singer Pink uh, might not work out, then uh, you might get a job uh, reading for the movie trailers. Like this season, the Singer Pink will come to your house. Yeah? Or maybe telemarketeer for 99 cents, and this is not <laughs> all. <laughs> All right, so you're obviously, uh, obviously solving a very first world problem that people are just bored. I would be your first customer. <laughs> I think you already are. <laughs> Do we have any questions from the jury? Who would use this? Who would like to hear what their picture would sound like? See, your customers are all everywhere. So afterwards, find me, find me <laughs> and we can make a picture of you and hear a song about you. So thanks very much for your whole team. There is your diploma, sing a pick. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Contact us is next up. Where are you? Run to the stage. And preparing, I meet you. Contact us. Take what? Woohoo. Where are they? You're hiding somewhere. I can't, there's so much light here that I can't even pick you up from the crowd. Contact us. <laughs> there you are. Run to the stage. See your moment to shine. Don't miss out. <laughs> Woo! I Meet You is preparing.
Use it wisely. All right. Sorry about that. Whoa, a lot of light. <coughs> Hi, my name is Alan. And who here thinks Google is wasting their time? And I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. And well, let me elaborate what I mean. So let's say uh, all those times when you actually need something to be done important in your life. Let's say you need to repair that old refrigerator. You need to paint your walls. You need to book a dentist appointment. You need to uh, fix that old broken taillight on your car. You've been driving around, and you know the cops are going to ticket you soon. So, but you've just been avoiding it. Whew. So what do you do? Go to Google, right? 64,000 uh, results. Excellent. And spend the next few hours, few days of your life uh, comparing the results, opening up all those different tabs, comparing the companies, talking to your neighbor, asking for advice, calling your mom, and eventually, hopefully, you will get the results you wish, but by that time, your computer will have crashed because you had all those 25 tabs open, your cat has run away because you f forgot to feed it, obviously, and you feel 10 years older. So that's a problem for me. So how can you change that? So a team of awesome, six awesome people have come up with a solution. Contact us. A simple tool, a simple interface, where you simply submit your request. Let's say you want to have your car oil changed. Yeah? You submit it to contact us and go on with your life, watching YouTube videos, playing with your cat. Contact us, we'll have taken your request, send it out to all possible car shops who could work on your problem. The car shops respond, whoever is there to respond. Uh, and as you come back from watching YouTube videos, you can start already browsing the responses, uh, look at more details if necessary, and you can choose the best offer available. For me, this is pretty simple. So, uh, companies, are quite interested to use this product. We've approached a few. For me and you, as a user, it costs nothing. Companies will pay a small monthly fee. And it's such a simple tool. It's scalable all around the, 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 the country. Why not even the world? So I hope uh, I have given you a few ideas how Contact Us could change your life for better. For, and you could you know, do more meaningful things with your life, like. Uh, Play with your cat. Make your cat happy. Thank you. You are not? Let me just borrow your microphone then. Do we have, have any questions from the jury? Caesar. Yeah, good question. Uh, so the question is if it works only for services or also for products. At this point, we're working with services only. But we see why not uh, scale this up towards the, uh, the products as well. So we are kind of like connecting the customer to the company. Thanks. Anyone else has a question? No good? Alan. Sure. Do you I have a question for yourself? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Why am I not still using it? <laughs> or why am I not yet using it? Yeah. So we all have it soon, a chance to use Contact Us, yeah? Obviously. Great. So thank you for your whole team. <laughs> and next up is I Meet You. So, so quick. There you go. That's yours. And preparing is Select Guide. So, hey, guys. Let's be honest. We all are busy people. Sometimes we are so busy that we do not have any spare minute for lunch or coffee. And our timetables look, well, pretty much like this. For instance, that's mine. As you can see, I have only a few free slots in it. And so do my business partners. And if I want to arrange a meeting with them, I suggest time, but it doesn't work. They suggest time, but it doesn't work either. And it all turns in an endless connection, suggestions and suggestions and... <sighs> Sounds familiar, right? But now I can arrange a meeting with them with just one simple touch. 
MHU is an app which filters the calendar, synchronizes it with the calendar of your partner, and allows you both to choose the best time for your meetings. Let me show you how it works. So we launch the app and press the button. Then one, two, three, and here we go. We use a technology which works when the two phones are very close together. And what makes us unique is that you don't actually need to make some extra connections like profiles, no registration, and you can always be sure about the security of your data. It's so simple, right? So what's next? We'd like to create some extra features based on your demands and your ideas. Because choosing the best time for meeting is what makes all of us successful. Of course, we couldn't provide you this idea without our amazing team. And thank you, mentors, tech guys, and all the Garage 48 for these 48 hours of pure fun and development. Please, let's clap for all of us. Borrow this again. Um, this was this was the energy we're looking for. Thanks very much for a really really great pitch. I think she deserves an applause for this as well. Yeah. So, do we have questions from the jury? How many people can you add to this meeting? So um, obviously this app works with only two phones because of the technology we use. So um, that's why on a, on a better testing, we have only two people, so you can uh, add only one person. But in the future, probably we will add something else. So it seems that uh, a lot of the teams are solving the problem of busy people. That's a special thing about Belarus, probably. So thank you, thank you very much for your whole team that were here and putting the efforts in. You give them a big applause. I meet you. Thanks. So next up, select guides. And preparing is first name Bagrat, then turned into a job alert, and now prof. <laughs> select guides. Hello. Hello. This is for you? Yeah. Good luck. OK. Hello to everyone. My name is Dmitry, and I'm glad to propose to see an our application when we done during this uh, nice uh, event like a garage sorry Kosi, uh, sorry Kosi, I'm sorry <laughs> 98 uh, uh, hackathon so uh, what's problem for for example I am in new city uh, and I need to wait uh, some train for example about uh, five hours uh, who maybe somebody was in this situation I I, I think any people was uh, waiting something flying maybe train and what i will do in this uh, in this city i don't know uh, anybody and i don't know uh, what i can walk and but so but now <laughs> this problem but now uh, we have a nice application uh, and just let's try i selected my city grodna and i um, uh, see then guide Helena can uh, follow with me around uh, around uh, any places in the city because uh, this guide um, uh, anybody see me? Okay. <laughs> so, and it's video call. We done this uh, this technology during this uh, hackathon. It's really true. Uh, we uh, have. Um, uh, really strong professional team. I respect you guys. It's uh, really strong. It's, it was difficult to realize. Uh, just believe me. So uh, we, uh, what we do then? Our application uh, solve two problems. For tourists, you can easy and simple get a guide to provide. Uh, he was follow. He, he will follow with you um, in any places in new city. Uh, because this uh, person who knows really uh, well this uh, territory and the, uh, you can use his knowledge. And for guide, we uh, provide a really nice place 
for job. A any people who knows history, who know uh, some interesting facts, can uh, use our service and get good job, stay at home. Uh, people with uh, disabilities uh, or uh, house workers is any people who can uh, who can talk about something interesting uh, and uh, follow with uh, tourists can work in our system. So uh, thank you for all. Uh, my time is off, and uh, I really. Uh, happy than I was in this event. Thank you so much. And uh, that's all. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Question, maybe. So, any questions from the jury? Yep. In real street? Oh, it will be more cheaper because uh, our service, it's... Um, uh, not so expensive because individual guide it's expensive uh, service uh, about I don't know maybe uh, 100 dollars on 200 uh, but we I think um, it it will be monetized like a, a 10 dollars uh, per hour maybe something like that and it's very cheaper but uh, but interesting <laughs> I, I hope so the question was is it is it cheaper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it okay to use it during the night yes, as well? Yes. Good question. But your guide can stay at other country, for example, and this country will be day now, and uh, it's it's. So, you guide, you come into our service, uh, click uh, I'm ready to work and you work uh, in any time when you How can. will you make you sure that it's very good quality that I can hear? Yeah, we will be create a um, uh, commission. We plan to create commission with guides. We uh, have uh, several guides in our team now at this time and uh, they, these people really knows his uh, professions and uh, they like a mentor for us and uh, they talk about uh, business part of guide uh, work okay. in general. Yeah. Let me just borrow this. So if we don't have any questions from Masquerade, who has been actually sending me some questions, I'm waving to them in the live stream, no? Then thank you very much for your whole team. Uh, I will just move this for a second and give you a diploma. So select guide. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next up, we will have Prof. And after them, preparing is breadwinner. Uh, hello, my name is Andrew. So mm, uh, why do we go to the event? We want to learn something new. We want to see something completely different. Uh, we want to create something amazing. But no one has an idea how many times we just walk um, away from the opportunity that we don't even know that exists. Uh, how many times we walk away from a maybe a future co-worker or a co-founder or maybe a lifelong friend who, whose name we still don't know. The problem with these kinds of events is that there are lots of people there and there is too, much, uh, too few time. So we usually start um, communicating with people and we are not sure if they actually are interested in our idea or not, if they have the skills that we actually want or not. And uh, there are some guys who we, do, we usually ignore uh, that with whom we would be able to create something new, something tremendous. So our uh, team of four Georgian geniuses created the application uh, called Prof. Now it's called Prof. So the application is simple. It's working on location. Like uh, it will, it's location-based application and it will give you the information of all the people who are sitting in the same room. It will give you the information of about the, their skills, their um, experience. You have to, you can also filter the skills. You can see the um, person uh, whose skills you are interested in. You can see his experience and after that you can simply just um, 
um, send them a request, and if they approve, you can chat with them or just meet with person. Uh, we are uh, planning to, at first, uh, have um, to offer this uh, service to the um, event holders, like, for example, hackathons. Uh, instead of using just Google Forms, we can just take the uh, information and make it uh, like that, that all of the people here will uh, al already know uh, with whom they, are, they want to work. And after that, we think that their um, productivity will increase dramatically. Thank you for listening. Borrow this from you. So, who is, who is your customer? Good Garage 48 could be a very good client for you? One of them, yeah. <laughs> One of them. Do we have any more questions for the four Georgian geniuses from the jury? How are you getting your first thousand users? Well, we are planning to offer this application for free to the um, hackathons, events, like for example, hackathons or business forums or anything like that, so that uh, instead of just using Google Forms, which is also like, um, they will be able to use it, and they will also be able to uh, somehow increase the productivity of their projects. Like, all these projects are more concerned about the productivity of the people who actually um, go there. Like, how for them, it's for them to find some new people and create something cool. Yes. Great. I'm super happy that we have Georgians. We do Garage 48s in Georgia and in I Estonia. Know. And now you're here in Belarus as well. Yeah. So here's a cheers for the Georgians. <laughs> Woo! That's for you. So breadwinner, up next on the stage. And preparing, and the very last one. No, it's not the last one. Smart Sub. Breadwinner is coming. The demo team is ready, and here's your microphone. Thank you. Hello, guys. Um, everybody knows that shopping is a daily routine, and everyone wants to uh, save time, money, uh, good mood um, during this process. Uh, but people are not perfect, and by try to uh, do a lot thing at one moment. For example, uh, they try to answer the phone, uh, keep in mind the uh, shopping list, uh, to speak with somebody, and so on. And of course, they forget about something. What about what if I say you that uh, your phone could tell you that the product you try to find? It's uh, near to you, and you have to take it right now. Even if you don't look uh, at your screen of your smartphone or at the shelves. It's not a magic, it's just a mobile device and iBeacon technology. Uh, Breadwinner is a mobile application uh, that could that could don't let you uh, get over the product from your shopping list. You and uh, your family could add everything in this uh, shopping list, and you will see it because um, your devices are synchronized uh, between each other. Uh, so let's go shopping. I want to buy milk bread and some chocolate. Um, I go around the supermarket and I close to the dairy and I want to buy a milk. We see the notification, I got it and I go further for the bread. Yep. And I think that's all and I go to the uh, cash desk. But uh, do you remember about the chocolate? But this application remember too. And we have the notification that we need to return or to come the next time to this magazine. Yep, we have. Um, 
this application will be used for visitors of the shops. Uh, and uh, I think this is immense uh, between 25 and 50. Uh, and uh, for shop chips. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you did really well. Thank you for the pitch. Thank Do we you. have any questions for the bread winner? From the first row here? From the audience? This is actually my shopping list all the time as well. Milk, bread and chocolate. So easy to live on. How are you planning to get the supermarkets involved? Um, we plan to, uh, we have uh, not only mobile application, but an uh, admin panel. And uh, the next version of this application will have uh, analytical part uh, for consumers' behavior. And I think that uh, it will be uh, very useful for uh, merchandising and for the marketers. Great. So you're gathering data for, for the supermarket side as well, yeah? So thank you very much for your whole team. So give it up for Breadwinner. So next up is Smart Sub. Run for the stage. And the very last one, karaoke. But not the least. Smart Sub coming up. Demo guys are ready. See, he's wearing the Facebook t shirts just to get the extra points. <laughs> not yet, but will be, definitely. <laughs> are we ready? Hi, I'm Dennis, and I'm a digital marketer. Uh, when we come here to Garage 48, uh, we decided to do something useful, really useful, uh, something um, fast, you know, easy to use, and, and really, you know, to be in future, to have profit. That's why, and you know, w when, when I come here, I was asking what, what kind of ideas we'll be creating and so on. And, and many people come to me and say, you know, there is a crisis. There have been so many problems. We don't know how to start business and so on and so on. And we decided to take all our skills, I mean, digital marketing skills, and authorize them in a bot. So easy to use, just like one step by another. That's why, and this is how it appears smarts up. SmartFab is a B2B marketing automation service, real automation service, and the first one. Because we have created the bot that creates really efficient landing pages and working marketing ads automatically, right from the messenger, from your telephone, in your, in your pocket. How it works? You just go in Telegram and find our bot. It's it, uh, smart, sub, uh, and that's it. You go on the dialogue and you answer the questions. And then it's great. Okay, let's, let's see how it looks like. So if we go to, it's a web version of Telegram. So it asks us to download of some of logos of the clients. So we say that, yeah, it's enough. So we have already made it. And, and he asks to, to add some new telephone, you see? And we don't need it, but, and this is like corporate email and we said yeah okay we'll do it and you see now it's generated a link a real link to the landing page that is already online and if we put uh, and we push on the link we go online and you see there is a domain a real domain that we ask even people to make and it's done the real one a very good one you see all the titles text blocks they just made by the bot just uh, in a few minutes, and that's it. And if you come back, and if you come back to the uh, Telegram, we have another message. There is uh, a link to pay for the marketing budget as well. So if, if we push on it, then we'll see Yandex cashback, and all you need just to fill the form, and it's paid. And you know, marketing ads is already generated, so everything is done. All you need is just to push a button, and that's it. I really want to appreciate the team uh, for, for this amazing job. Zahar, thank you. <laughs> um, Alosha, <laughs> Artyom, and all the mates. It was an amazing job. And 
I definitely will continue with that. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. So, do we have questions from the jury, from the audience? <laughs> All understandable, yeah? Yeah, how we made it? Huge job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you, mates, and thank you, everybody. Amazing audience. Yeah, I slept like 10 hours, maybe. <laughs> oh, so 10 hours, again, it's wasted okay. time. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's so, thank amazing. you for your whole team. You, you Thank them yourself, and we thank yeah, them as well. Yeah, and applause to you guys. Thank Smart you. Smart up. Here's your diploma. Thanks very much for this 48 hours of work. And the very last one, we have the karaoke team. So if you're ready to sing. Yes, thanks. Hi. Hi, my name is Richard. I'm from karaoke challenge team. Uh, so because of the TV shows like... Um, um, uh, uh, X Factor, Carpool, uh, karaoke is really trending now. And in East Asia, actually, it's been uh, very popular uh, for a very long time. Uh, me, myself, I was living in uh, China, Beijing, and I often went out with friends to karaoke venues uh, to have some fun. But the problem is that these uh, venues were always overcrowded. And going back to West, if you go to uh, uh, open floor karaoke bars, which are more frequent in West, then um, it can be really intimidating to sing in front of a lot of uh, strangers for a person who's not singing that well. And that's why we created the Karaoke Challenge app, which allows you to enjoy a karaoke on your own terms, anywhere and anytime you want. So um, someone might uh, say now, uh, Richard's dummy, <laughs> don't you know that there are so many karaoke apps who have uh, tens of millions uh, users uh, using them daily, to which I say that's, that's really good. Uh, it means they warm up market for us, and we're going to take it with uh, one uh, simple feature that's going to gamify karaoke. After each song, we're going to show a uh, singer the performance score. Uh, performance score in any game you can imagine uh, triggers two powerful emotions. Uh, one is joy. Uh, the joy that when uh, you hit the high score in your favorite song, or uh, competitiveness, the second emotion, uh, you know, the, the, the excitement when you beat someone in a, a song contest, song battle. Uh, so we make this feature possible by proprietary, uh, uh, by proprietary sound processing algorithm uh, which is comparing the original song with the song you are singing. So our game uh, will have, uh, actually already has uh, two gameplays. One is uh, career mode, where you can sing on your own, collect points, uh, unlock features, and uh, challenge your friends online. The second one, best one, is karaoke party mode, where you can get together with friends, invite them over, get some beer, and sing uh, together or against each other. Uh, and just have a lot of fun, uh, all while doing it, each on your own uh, smart device, and optionally uh, casting it all on a big screen for the, the ultimate karaoke experience. Uh, so the way we will monetize this is by selling coins, which you can then use to unlock new songs and features, such as visual themes. And the other uh, monetization uh, is uh, uh, paid membership, which unlocks the karaoke party feature. Uh, so, finally, in our team, we are three full-stack uh, programmers. Uh, we are unstoppable, and we have also a really cool uh, designer. Um, finally, I am taking care of marketing. So, our goal is to make this uh, number one uh, game party app in the world, and uh, we're welcoming anyone who can help us with this uh, quest. So, thank you, and any questions from jury? Thank you very much. I have a question. So what's your own favorite uh, karaoke song? You seem like a guy who's... Uh... These karaoke events, they usually happen late at night, so in kind of mood when you <laughs> pick something silly like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> right, it's nice not my choice. favorite, but it's just fun. Last time I was singing karaoke, it was in Latvia. It really proves that alcohol can do anything. That can make you sing and speak Latvian at the same time. <laughs> 
Any questions from the jury? No, no, you can ask as well, sure. So how are you special? How are you going to get your first users? Uh, so I have experience in uh, digital marketing and PR. Uh, what I will do first, I will reach out to all the PR contacts I know and explain them the, why this app is unique and why it's going to be really big and awesome. Uh, secondly, I will try to um, target on Facebook or Twitter uh, influencers and try to get them get their feedback, uh, sharing, and just get things in motion. So we can see that the, the name and the logo is, uh, is uh, pretty similar to some, some uh, service that I know. So is that some kind of a try to uh, go the same way? Which service is that? I don't know. Just Say. kind of the, the same kind of letters in the same way. That would be, that would be a really good, uh, you know, kind of like jumping the same way, yeah? I really don't get it. But no? <laughs> I don't use one? so many apps, sorry. <laughs> So I saw masquerade. Ah, like okay. Karaoke. Oh, sorry, guys. No, don't there. be sorry. Maybe it's a good jump to there. There, yeah. They are watching, by the way. So. I know. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your team. And here's your diploma. And I'll take this. So thanks for all the 15 teams who are coming up here for the whole 48 hours for preparing for this for the pitch drills today. You all did really, really great. We're going to take now about 20 minutes with the jury. Uh, go and rest. Uh, meet with each other if you haven't yet. We will come back and we will announce the winners. Thanks very much. Woo, 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 woo.
Right, guys? You ready? You ready? You ready for this? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yes, that's the one. You want to know the winners? No. You want to stay for another 48 hours? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Can I uh, ask you to be my clicker again upstairs? <laughs> hey, clicker. Hey, clicker, click it. Ah, see, that's what I meant. Before we announce the winners, I want to thank some more people. So especially the people in the first row here, taking their time away from their busy, busy schedules, coming here on the bus, on the train, dislocating their shoulders, <laughs> and, uh, and just being here, uh, sharing their knowledge and know-how. So thank you to the mentors, and let's get them all up here for a picture. Woo! And then now get off. <laughs> oh, the, the picture, yes. Thank you. Um, so obviously, high fives. Uh, there's also um, mentors, they came here, they helped you out during this 48 hours. But there's obviously a lot of blood, sweat and tears going into this, uh, into this event for, to organize this beforehand and to make everything right, to talk to the people to organize, to get the catering, get everything. So we had a lot of help. So we want to thank the team. <laughs> There's a lovely picture of, uh, of Daria and uh, I would like to applaud her. But obviously there was a big team behind it. And come up here, come, come, come. They had a lovely gift to us actually as well. So we brought something uh, for them from Estonia. So uh, something sweet to thank you for all the work. Do we have more thank yous? Clicker. Yes, the people that we already thanked. So all the organizing partners, sponsors, info partners, people that, and organizations, it's, it's more about the people, right? Without them, this event wouldn't be possible. So a big, big applause for our sponsors. And now, for the winners. As I said before, you're already all winners because you're here and you came here and you didn't sleep and you demoed and you built and you, you were pitching. So all of you are winners. But who are winners more? <laughs> Let's find out. And without further ado, we're just going to go straight to the announcements. And the very first prize that I'm going to announce is actually my first kind of personal favorite to, uh, to give out because this is the favorite of the audience prize. This is always about having fun. You're obviously here to do serious, serious things and you know, building global apps that's gonna make you millionaires. But there's always this, uh, this element of fun that keeps people here and uh, keeps them up and going uh, for 48 hours. So thank you everyone actually for having fun with us for the team pictures for liking, sharing, and tweeting, and, and so on. And the one that probably has the most friends and has the favorite of the audience prize, the most likes, is Singapic. <laughs> Woo! I'm glad that Singapic, well, at least Sticky Man is from Estonia, so we brought something very special that you can maybe bring back to Estonia, or we can drink it on the bus. It's Vana Tallinn. <laughs> Woo! So share it with your team. 
Uh, apparently, we were at the bar yesterday, and there was a, you can make a really good cocktail with this. It's Garasia Estonska Zima. I will teach you later how to do it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And you get this, Singer Pick. This is Singer Pick theme. Thank you very much, guys. Woo. Next up, we have a special prize given out by Daria. I know it was quite a challenge for all of you to come here and to present your ideas first and then to project to present your projects. And I've been watching uh, how you rehearsed and uh, it was really interesting and uh, cool how you've improved and everyone Im improved really. But there was one team who made a performance here and we would like to um, thank them and to give them a special prize and Arduino set to have fun, just to have fun. And it's one, two, three. Best energy, one, three, one. Best energy on stage. <laughs> the whole team up here. Woo. Woo. <laughs> A picture. Woo. Thank you very much. And the next up is Caesar coming to uh, present another very special prize. He will tell you what it is. So, uh, there is this one team that, uh, in my opinion, they made a very simple uh, product, but uh, that has the potential to change how we behave uh, with a certain, you know, um, situation in our lives. So, the IPM, the business school uh, from Belarus, is offering uh, three courses, like for three people uh, from this team, and uh, we consider this team having the best business case and this team is Contactus. Please come to stage. Woo! Contactus. The whole team, get on the stage. Best business case. Come, come, come. Well done, guys. A picture and a smile. Woo! Thank you very much. Next up, we already have the second runner-up. And the award is given by Sergei. And he will tell you what the, what the team will get as well. Thank you for all. And the second runner uh, place is for I Meet You. I Meet You is uh, the team is going to go to Estonia and to Latitude 59 conference so they can carry on selling their idea with at the, actually the, one of the most popular Nordic startup conferences. Congratulations. And the special prize from Expedi team company that travel to the Estonia. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Picture. Nice. Thank you very much, guys. We're moving on very, very quickly. And the next one up is the first runner-up, which is given by Martin Grüner. There you go. Okay. Um, with the first runner-up award also comes $500 from uh, Masquerade. Oh my God, these lights are real annoying. How did you manage to pitch here? Um, so uh, we usually say that Garage 48 is not about building companies, uh, but sometimes teams manage to generate real revenue and get actual customers even during the event. So, uh, well, client is a client. A paying client is even a better client. And the sec first runner-up, had 10 of those, Metallica. Woo! The whole team up here. 
the Rockstar team. Get here. Woo! And look at this. There's like Estonian, French, Brazilian, Georgian. Who else do you have? Latvian, Brazilian, twice. Nice work, guys. Congrats! Very well done! Woo! A picture! Woo! Thank you very much. Cool. And now we're going to carry on. There you go. Thank you very much. Well done. High fives. Now we're actually going to all gather here for the next announcement. Let's just see. Who else is coming? All the men, all the judges. Sergey, come as well. The so moment you've been waiting for 48 hours. <laughs> we thought we we're going to just make it interesting because we're flying through all this stuff. Who is going to be the winner? No one knows. Caesar, what do you think about the winner? Come on, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the winner uh, managed to build something that... Um, to be honest, I didn't believe in the idea at first, on the first day. Uh, right after it was shown to me on the first checkpoint, I was already, uh, you know, converted. And uh, yeah, I agree with the decision. I think it's worth it. We got, the, we got some votes in for, uh, from Masquerade team as well. So the, the jury decision took quite a while for, from them to hear. But Grüner, how are you feeling about the last decision? Well, uh, considering with the last decision, that, that actually didn't involve the team in question because uh, the winner actually got votes from all the jury members, every single one of them. So that was, well, that, that was decided quite, qu quite quickly and for, for a reason because uh, not often do I see teams uh, at hackathons who, who build something that's truly impressive. And... Um, Last time I, I was truly impressed by a team at the Hackathon uh, was in Minsk and those guys later on went on to build Masquerade. See, it's actually very hard to impress Martin. I've seen him at over 30 hackathons and if he's impressed, that means something. Daria, so you are holding this, what are they actually getting, that prize that you've got in your hand? It's $1,000 in here. So you can go to the bank with this one for $1,000. Sergey, what do you think? Should we say the team name? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Should we say it? Should we say it all together? Yeah. And the winner is... 3, 2, 1, Scott! Oh, cool. <laughs> Woo! Get on the stage! Yes! Skap! Skap! Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. Do you all have a picture together as well? Gather, gather, gather. <laughs> okay, for a picture. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Come here. Thank you very much, guys. You earned this. So, as I said, you're all winners here, but Skop is a little bit more winner. <laughs> um, I've said this many times already, so thank you guys for coming. This is our very first time in Grodno. I am impressed. Martin Grüner is impressed, so that is, that is something. Um, and I really hope that we can come back here and, and uh, I hope that we can see you at Garage 48 events. So keep an eye on our website, follow us everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and join our events for other cool weekends like this. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> now go home. It's over. Ah, let's come here for a photo, that's it. Let's all come here for 
a group photo. Join me on the stage to finish this off with a great team photo. The winners, the second runner-ups, the first runner-ups, favorite of the audience, everybody on the stage, mentors, judges, other people. Random people from the streets. <laughs> You're all going to fit here, don't worry. You are sitting there, come. You are sitting here, come, come, come. Leave your phone to someone to take a picture. Join us, join me. I feel like I'm like a priest or something. Join me on my quest, come. You know, you were saying thanks to all the team members and mentors, but nobody thanked you, and you played a major role in this event, the way I see it. So let's give it up for Kai, our host. Hey, thanks for Kai. Okay, you ready for the picture? Which I will sing. We are the champions, my friend. Da, 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 da. He's Georgian. We. Na, 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 na. Let's go home now. Guys of the Baltic participants, the bus will come at 9 o'clock outside here. Oh, like, share, subscribe. Спасибо большое. I mean, I'm also coming for a bus in that case. Yeah, very good. So, uh...